Hello Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome back. Aquarius, this is going to be your next 48 hours. What is happening the next 48 hours? Let's get your energy and jump right in this. If you have Aquarius, anywhere in your charts, Sun, Moon, and Rising, this reading is for you. Okay. Aquarius, we have expect miracles. Beautiful. Oh, pull that down into view. There we go. Okay, let's get a monology. What do we have for Aquarius? Okay, win-win <laughs> outcome in the forecast. Beautiful. The bottom we have, you and your loved ones are safe. So you have divine protection. You're being protected at this time. Beautiful energy. Let's see. Let's get one more card. For Aquarius, what's going on in the next 48 hours? Okay, we have Forge, Don't Follow, Pave a New Path, Be a Leader You Wish You Had. Beautiful. So take the initiative. There's some kind of situation that's unfolding, that's bringing miracles, that's bringing a huge success to you. And it's letting you know to be a leader. Be a leader like you wish you had in a situation. You know, maybe you're someone's mentor. Maybe someone is, you know, depending on you for a certain situation. But I feel like you're leading in some aspect. You're leading. Okay, let's get some energies. Get some tarot for Aquarius. What's going on in the next 48 hours for Aquarius? What's going on in the next 48 hours? Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, we have the Two of Swords and the Ace of Swords. I feel like there's some kind of choice, some kind of decisions that you're making, but I feel like you're at a breakthrough. Whatever decisions that you're making are very crucial. They're very crucial. It's some kind of collaboration, some kind of partnership, um, something that you are working on, some something that you're building is going to gain a lot of success. But I feel like there are still decisions that need to be made in order for this to really come into fruition because we have the the um, ace of swords that's having a breakthrough that's having a, an epiphany you know some something kind of comes to you as like an aha moment um, you're breaking some kind of barriers I feel like you're cutting through those see what else do we have for Aquarius the next 48 hours okay we have the five of swords wow and the seven of swords and the page of cups okay okay so some kind of communication is coming through some kind of gift is being offered to you but you're kind of reluctant to take it you're kind of at a crossroads when it comes to accepting this gift maybe it's a gift of advice maybe it's a, a literal gift that someone's given to you but you kind of feel a certain way about it you kind of feel like this person really didn't really is not giving you good advice or they're not meaning to help you through this this decision or this question that you're having that you need advice on. So I feel like you're very com conflicted in this situation. So you feel like this person may not have the right intentions when they're offering you this 
communication, this gift of advice or, you know, I, I, I feel like you feel like they're, like they're being kind of sneaky about it. Like they really don't want you to succeed, but they're like offering this gift to kind of see how you're going to react. So I would kind of beware of the advice that they're giving or whatever the gift is. Because I feel like whatever they're offering has some sort of strings attached. They want something back in return for something that they're offering. That's the reason why it's coming with this Five of Swords, Seven of Swords energy. Because they have underlying intentions. They have an ulterior motive as to why they are offering you this gift. But I feel like you still have the win, Aquarius. You still have your success regardless because you have your, uh, your breakthrough, your breakthrough moment. You are expecting miracles to unfold. Okay, what else do we have for Aquarius? The Empress. Wow. <clears throat> the Queen of Wands. And success. Yes. Six of Wands. Okay. So, no matter what the outcome was with the situation, I feel like you are very fruitful. You are kind of bringing something to life. The Empress, she's very um, fruitful energy. She can manifest whatever her heart desires because she has that ability. She trusts her intuition. She is very fertile for birth, for new ideas, for you know, new things coming forth. She has the power to do that. So I feel like you're tapping into that energy because look at this. You have the Queen of Wands right next to it. The Queen of Wands is very similar to the Empress. She's very assertive. She takes action. She has full confidence in her abilities. And she knows when to jump on an opportunity. She's very assertive self-assured that her success is coming through. So something that you're doing, some kind of confidence that you have, some kind of ability that you have to manifest whatever this is, is bringing you full honor. It's bringing you total success, total recognition. You are being viewed as being rewarded for some kind of action. And I feel like it's because you chose the right path. You were at this crossroads with this Two of Swords energy. Now you're still at a crossroads, but I feel like you've chosen your path. You're moving forward. The wands are very assertive. You know, the swords are very thoughtful. They think out the situation, but the wands... The wands choose and react. So I feel like whatever choice that you needed to make, you are now taking action. You are now taking the initiative, being the leader, you know. So I, I feel like this is beautiful energy, Aquarius. Something is coming around that's going to make you very successful. You have your victory. Okay, give me more messages. For Aquarius. More messages for Aquarius, please. What is this? Two of Swords, Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Tell me more. And we got the Two of Swords again. Definitely clarifying that there is a choice that needs to be made. You are at a crossroads. And it may be something that you're protecting. Something that you are defending. Um, it may be some kind of project that you're defending. Some kind of 
thing that you're working on. But look at this. We have the fool. So you have faith. You are taking the leap of faith. You're having that passion to follow the universe, even though you're not quite sure where the it's going to lead you on your destination. The fool just follows. He follows because the universe is letting him know that to gain his success, he needs to follow his journey and he needs to be faithful on his journey. So the, the fool just starts his journey. You know, he doesn't know where he's going. He doesn't know where he'll end up, but he follows with faith. And I feel like that's kind of what you're doing, Aquarius. I feel like, you know, you have these decisions that you need to make. There's some kind of choice, but you're following with faith. You're listening to that gut feeling that's going to push you into the right direction. Okay. Spirit, tell me more about this Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, Page of Cups. Tell me more about this situation. The Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. <clears throat> and the Magician. Wow. Okay, so I feel like it's something that you're working on. It's something that you're trying to master. You're trying to master the situation. That may be why someone's trying to bring you advice on how to do this situation, how to overcome any obstacles. But I feel like you kind of, you're kind of on guard. You're on guard. You, you, you realize that this person may not have your full good intentions at heart so you're kind of boxing yourself in you're kind of isolating yourself in the situation because you feel like you can do this better on your own and I totally understand that Aquarius because with the magician you have the power you have all of the resources you have all the capability and the universe is letting you know that whatever is in heaven can be brought down to earth. So whatever you're manifesting, whether it be love, career, projects, take it how it resonates. But whatever it is that you are manifesting, you have the ability to bring this from your thoughts down to earth. So you really don't need any advice how to do that. I feel like that's kind of why you're, you're isolating yourself. Because you take pride in whatever it is that you're working on. You're really working through the situation. That's the reason why we have this win-win situation. Is You know, you have this outcome. A win-win A win-win outcome is in the forecast. Yeah, I almost forgot what that said. Okay, Aquarius, let's move on. Okay, Spirit, tell me about the Empress, the Queen of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Tell me more about this Empress, Queen of Wands, and Six of Wands. The hermit. Yeah, you have all the wisdom that you need to take action. The page of swords. This is curious energy. So you may be working on certain things. You may have done the research. You may have read the books. You know, but I feel like you have all the knowledge. You have all the wisdom that's going to bring you through to this miracle that you're expecting. This good outcome. Okay, one more card, please. The Judgment. Beautiful. Yeah, you're coming to conclusions. You've made the final decision. You know, you've had this epiphany on the situation and I feel like it's totally moving you 
out of your comfort zone and into where you need to be. Into this new ability of creating what you desire. We also have the temperance at the bottom. So I really feel like with this energy that you are finding your balance. You're, you've had patience in the situation. Now you're gaining your, your beautiful outcome. You know? So I feel like, <laughs> look at this. We have the fool, the magician, the judgment card. Wow. You know, that's a new beginning. Creating and having renewal, having hope. The judgment is sort of a rebirth. It's like leaving a place where you've always been and just finding new perspectives, a new life, new purpose, um, having a wake-up call. You know, I, I feel like you you are you are just in that manifestation space right now. I feel like you have the ability to create whatever it is you desire. Now we're going to get one more deck of tarot. And we're going to go a little deeper. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah, look at this. The king of pentacles. The ace of pentacles. You're protecting your your creation. You're protecting this. You're finding your stability. Whatever the situation is, it is sparking something that's going to bring you longevity. Long-term security. Something has sparked. And now you are taking action on this venture, on this love. Oh, you know, how, whatever this is in your life. I feel like you are protecting it. You're being very practical. But you're also being very experimental. You know? Okay, more messages for Aquarius. The sun. Beautiful. This is bringing you happiness. Look at this. We have the fool again. Something is bringing you happiness. Something is starting this new journey. This new venture. This leap of faith that you're taking. And, you know, the, the, the fool, he's pure. He's innocent. He's going on this journey. Not having the knowledge where he's going. So he's purely trusting in his destination. Beautiful. Tell me more for Aquarius. Tell me more, please. The Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Something is bringing you a lot of success. We have the Page of Cups again. So something is bringing you a lot of success. A lot of abundance. Something is building you up. Something is... You know, you have the Ten of the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun. Something is coming that is going to be huge. This is huge manifestation. Look at this. We have the, the judgment card again. Something is huge. Something is huge, Aquarius. This is you going through this huge transformation. That's going to bring you so much abundance. So much happiness. And enlightenment. Give me a card for... Yeah, we have self-acceptance. So I definitely feel like you are coming into this confidence. You're coming into this feeling of... You know, you've done a good job. You've put in all this work. All this um, ability. <laughs> Look at this. We have, uh, this wanted to pop out. 
we have confidence is your key to success. So you definitely have all the strength. You have all the knowledge. You have all the ability that you need to gain the success. Okay. Um, one more card. For Aquarius. Okay. We have Empathetic Starsteed. Energetic Sovereignty. Absorbing what's not yours. Okay. So... There is an energy that you need to be aware of, you know, um, maybe someone who's not as confident. Beware not to absorb that energy. Beware not to kind of be empathetic to that, to where you're absorbing that energy. Okay, let's get one more. Okay, what do we have for Aquarius? we have infinite abundance beautiful obstacles are being removed spiritual support and connections are increasing beautiful this one wanted to come out as well inner strength move back to wholeness recognize that you have the power beautiful <laughs> And now at the bottom, what you don't recognize is magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. Okay, beautiful. So, Aquarius, that is what I have for you. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity in your situation. Aquarius, until your next reading, many blessings, love, and light.